Hello there Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel and today I'm just going to touch on the new Windows Update 1903 build and I'm going to kick off straight away with an issue that you may hit as soon as you've actually done an update on the build and the way it's going to initiate itself, you're going to come along, you're going to start Reason, it's going to actually go into this little uh, Windows installer and it's just going to hang there and it's not going to do anything else, it's just going to hang there. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, kill off Reason, so you're going to have to go to Task Manager um, and get Reason killed off, or the other way around it is you can simply just uh, reboot your PC. Once you've rebooted your PC or you've, you've, got, you've killed Reason off, what you need to do is actually uninstall your ASIO driver. And so far all I had to do was uninstall my hardware ASIO driver, I've got several software um, ASIO drivers and that includes things like um, ASIO for all. Um, I didn't have to uninstall them, it was just my hardware um, I had to un uninstall. Once you've actually uninstalled your ASIO driver, because it's a driver you should really reboot your PC, make sure you, you've cleared your memory. Um, once you've rebooted you should be able to start Reason now. Um, as I say I hit this issue myself so once I could start Reason that was no problems at all and then all I had to do then was uh, reinstall my ASIO driver. Um, obviously you need to know your hardware, you need to plug your hardware in first before you install your drivers or to install your drivers and plug your hardware in. It does make a subtle difference. Some software wants your hardware plugged in to be able to see it to install the drivers and others you don't want to plug your hardware in just in case Microsoft have a generic driver and go oh there's a new device. I think I'll have that, thank you very much. And yeah, all you need to do is restart Reason and you should be up and running and hopefully that is it. Um, with regards to the actual Windows update, obviously the biggest thing, and yes, you've probably heard me bang on about it, and quite recently I did a, another update to it. Yeah, I'm talking about the fiber local storage, yeah, slot allocation. And they have really, really increased it. You know, we knew this update was coming, or I knew this update was coming, I've been looking forward to it. Um, this is not for Windows 7, yeah, so this issue is, well, this issue is on Windows 7, but you know, you need to go to Windows 10 if you are hitting FLS issues, yeah. Um, how much is increased by, that's a little bit of a mystery. A lot of sites are claiming it's 4,000, a lot are saying it's over 4,000. Actually on the Microsoft site itself, all they claim is you can run, now run thousands of unique plugins. And as I say, that is quite a key word there, unique. Um, so yeah. It's, it really is, I suppose, effectively uh, a non-issue. I don't know if you remember before, I was having issues that when I could load up Lab 3, which is taking up obviously 55 slots, I could only load up um, about eight, I think it was, of the uh, Antura's uh, other um, VSTs. So now, obviously, that's a, a thing of the past. I've got an a, a Analog Lab 4 there, and, and in this particular case, I've actually loaded up all my VST instruments. So I've only got 83, so there's 83 VST instruments there, loaded up all at once without an issue. Now, the FLS checker itself, sorry, it's up, up that side, isn't it? Um, that's only going to show 128. I think, believe it's hard coded to 128 because really, since the dinosaurs, that was their limit, 128. So that's what someone hard coded that. So they, no matter how many you load up, that's always going to say 128. Um, if you want um, a lot more information, um, because it is a massive update, I'm talking about over, well over 50 uh, features have really gone into this up, this update. Um, I know I state there 50, but it's, it's not. It's, it's well over 50. Um, the, the real good site I find is um, How to Geek. Um, I will put in the description a link to an article they've got up there. So they do go into detail of quite a few of the, the features which have been updated. Um, if you want to just go into Google and type Windows Update 1903, you would be hit with a, a lot of different pages. The only other update, or, um, say feature, what they want to call a feature, um, within this update, which might have a knock-on effect onto Reason, is one called Spectra. Um, Spectra was a security um, floor which allow programs to read other memory spaces which is a big no-no um, so microsoft plugged that last year um, but it was a performance hit um, this was only intel based if i remember rightly amd don't have this issue at all no it's intel based because it's to do with the caching um, so now they've really optimized that code 
Um, so if anything, you may see a performance increase of your PC overall. Uh, when I read that, I thought I would do some testing um, on my PCs. Again, for those who watch my channel, I did that 10.3 testing where I probably ran 80 to 100 benchmarks. I've only ran half a dozen. Um, in some of the benchmarks, I am seeing one to 2% increase, which is really good. But then I had that real funny sort of benchmark I did to do with Respire, uh, where I could run about 65 Respires, and I'm only actually running about 55. So there's, there's a drop there. So some places it's gone slightly higher, some it's come down. But saying that, you need to run lots of benchmarks to get a proper a proper mark. And the other thing is, when I did this update, I did what's called a full update. Um, so without a doubt, any of my sort of tweaks within Windows are probably now been thrown out the door, so I need to go and fish out a document, because I always document things when I tweak things within uh, Windows. So whenever I do do a rebuild, I can just reference that document and slap them back in again. Um, the update is a rolling update. So you may already have it, you may get it next week, you may get it in several weeks time. If you really do wish to install it now, you can obviously go to the Microsoft uh, website and you can actually download the installation file which will kick off the whole update. Again, I'll put that URL actually in the description. Uh, I think that's really covering all, all, all the aspects of this update. The main one being the fiber local storage loss. Yeah, that's um, an non-issue anymore. So anyway, thank you for watching and bye for now.